CBSE 10 Standard Boards In your CBSE 10 Standard Boards, the chapter called as Reflection and Refraction, though very short, has a weightage of 7 marks for your CBSE 10th board exam. This makes it very interesting because if you learn it well, then you bring out the strategy of getting high scoring in the examination without putting much effort. So let's look at some of the concepts of reflection. Starting with light. Light is a form of energy which gives us the sensation of vision. It's a non-mechanical wave as it doesn't require any medium to travel. And the speed of light? 3 lakh kilometers per second. The laws of reflection. Imagine a surface. There's a normal to the surface and there's a ray of light coming from this side which you call as the incident ray. We're talking about the same medium here and when an incident ray comes and hits on a surface, it reflects and goes back in the same medium. The law of reflection says that the angle of incidence, that is the angle made between the incident ray and the normal is equal to the angle of reflection, which is the angle made between the reflected ray and the normal. Now let's look at different types of reflection. Regular reflection. When all parallel rays of light reflected from a plain smooth surface, imagine a mirror, are parallel, then the reflection is known as regular reflection. Look at this image, you will understand what I'm talking about. Diffused or irregular reflection. When all parallel rays reflected from a rough or an uneven surface are not parallel, the reflection is called as a diffused or irregular reflection. Now let's look at mirrors. There are two kinds of mirrors. In fact, there are three kinds of mirrors, but I will generally classify it into two types. There are plane mirrors and there are spherical mirrors. As the name plane mirror suggests, it is basically a plane mirror. What is important about the plane mirror? The idea is the nature of the image which is created. It basically creates a virtual and an erect effect. The image formed from a plane mirror is of the same size, laterally inverted and is at the same distance behind the mirror as the object is from the front of it. The second category of the mirror is the spherical mirror. Within spherical mirror, there are two types, the concave mirror and the convex mirror. While a concave mirror, the reflecting surface is curved inwards, the nature of the image, virtual and erect, real and inverted. While in convex mirror, the reflecting surface is curved outwards, the nature of the mirror, virtual and erect. Within minutes, I have literally taken through the concepts of reflection. Short, sweet and not overburdening you. We'll come back with more.